फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लो कॉस्ट ट्रीटमेंट मेथड्स फॉर द रूरल एरियाज अवेलेबल फॉर वेस्ट वाटर ट्रीटमेंट दैट इज फाइटो रिमिडिएशन एंड रूट जोन टेक्नोलॉजी सो लेट एस सी द फाइटो रिमिडिएशन एंड रूट जोन टेक्नोलॉजी इन डिटेल फाइटो रिमिडिएशन एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट इज फाइटो मीन्स डेफिनेटली इन इन्वॉल्व इट इन्वॉल्व्स द प्लांट to remediate or to treat the waste water so the waste water treatment based on the plant is called as a phyto remediation technology the phyto remediation is the use of green plants to clean up the contamination from the soil sediment and waters phyto remediation means the use of plant to reduce the volume mobility or toxicity of the contaminant in the soil ground water or other contaminated area media green plants it may be aquatic or terrestrial have the wonderful properties or environmental restoration such as decontamination of polluted soil and water phytoremediation takes the advantage of these unique and selective uptake capabilities of the plant root system together with the translocation bioaccumulation and contaminant degradation abilities of the entire plant body for the remediation process this technology is environmental friendly and potentially cost effective so in short here by the translocation by accumulation and by different processes the plant removes the plant will help to remove the contamination or contaminant pollutant from the waste water and thereby it treats the waste water there are different mechanism by which the plants are re remediating the waste water so let us see what are those depending on the underlying processes capability and the type of contaminant bio availability and soil properties phyto remediation can be broadly classified into two categories first is to treat the organic contaminant and to treat the metal contaminant uh, uh, for the con to treat the organic contaminant or to remove the organic contaminant the plants remove it by the three different mechanism that is phyto degradation phyto stimulation and phyto volatilization and the second one is to treat the metal contaminant by the three mechanism that is phyto extraction rhizofiltration and phyto stabilization so let us see each and every mechanism in detail if you see this figure here by the plant is shown and by various mechanism as listed here the contaminants are removed in the below ground level the roots are active by the phyto stabilization by phyto uh, filtration and phyto stimulation they removes the metals and the organic pollutant whereas the part above the ground level which is leaf stem stalk flowers and etc removes the contaminant by the phyto volatilization phyto degradation phyto extraction and so on so let us see each and every mechanism in detail phyto extraction the uptake of the contaminant by the plant root and the movement of these contaminant from root to the above part of the plant by absorbing concentrating and pre pre precipitating the contaminant is called the phyto extraction these are the two ways for the phyto extraction natural and assisted in the natural way where the plant naturally take up the contaminant from the soil and in soil unassisted and where in assisted means use the chelated agent microbes and plant hormones to mobilize and accelerate the contaminant uptake uptake of the contaminant also accelerated by the use of hyper accumulator so if you see here the phyto extraction means the plant or in the roots take up the um, contaminant or the pollutant from the soil or the waste water waste water and by there they uh, it causes the accumulation and by that the extraction is carried out and it is get accumulated in the plant stalks leaves and the roots 
then phytostabilization it refers to the immobilization of the contaminant in the soil through absorption and accumulation by the roots precipitation within the roots so by two mechanism the contaminants or the pollutants are stabilized by absorption and accumulation by the roots and by precipitation within the roots the process reduces the mobility of the contaminant and prevents the migration to the ground water or air and also reduces the bioavailability for the entry into the food chain it is used to treat the heavy metals like lead arsenic cadmium chromium copper and zinc this method or this technique is having several advantages like disposal of hazardous material or biomass is not required very effective when rapid immobilization is needed to preserve the ground and surface water and the presence of plant also reduces the soil erosion then it is having certain disadvantages like contaminant remaining in the soil application of extensive fertilization or the soil amendment and the so monitoring is mandatory third method is the phytotransformation as also known as a phytodegradation it is the breakdown of the contaminant as the name suggests transformation so definitely the breaking down or the transformation of the contaminant is taking place in the plant during their metabolic processes remediate some organic contaminants such as chlorinated solvent herbicides and mu mutation munition it can address the contaminant in the soil sediment or ground water so by during their metabolism the plant causes the transformation uh, of the contaminant and thereby they are uh, they get removed from the waste water then phyto stimulation it is also called as a rhizo degradation phyto stimulation refers to the breakdown of contaminant within the plant root zone or the rhizosphere carried out by the bacteria or other microorganism flourishing in the rhizosphere microbes in the rhizosphere transform the contaminant to the non toxic product work well in removal of petroleum hydrocarbons so here this concept is little bit different here the plant takes the help of microorganism which are found in the root zone or the um, rhizosphere and the microorganism which are growing around the roots they take up those uh, contaminant and transform or the decomposes those contaminant to the non toxic product and thereby they are treating the waste water then phyto volatilization in this process the plant take up the contaminant from soil transforming them into volatile form and trans transpiring them into atmosphere the work on the uh, works on the organic compound and heavy metal contaminant mainly trichloroethylene as well as mercury in the primary metal is the primary metal contaminant that is this process has been used for so in this phytovolatilization the plant leaves stalks plays a major role because whatever contaminants are get absorbed by the plant they transform they into the volatile form and the uh, it will get volatile uh, as it is volatile so it will get evaporated through the plant leaves then rhizo filtration rhizo filtration it means rhizo means roots is the absor adsorption or the precipitation into the plant root or the absorption into the roots of the contaminant that are in the solution surrounding the root zone used to remediate the extracted ground water surface water and waste water with low contaminant compared to the phyto extraction here the plant are used to address the ground water rather than the soil so this rhizo filtration is mainly used for the ground water uh, instead of soil here the root roots plays the major role and uh, the network of the roots forms the uh, filter filter and the filtering action will uh, treat the waste water uh, 
there are certain advantages of this phytoremediation technique like in principle plant that engage in phytoremediation of toxic element could be harvested thus removing these element from the polluted site the cost of the phytoremediation is lower than that of traditional processes both in situ and ex situ the plants can be easily monitored the possibility of the recovery and reuse of valuable metal by companies especially in the phyto mining it poten it is potentially the least harmful method because it uses the naturally occurring organism and preserve the environment in a more natural state it preserve the topo soil maintaining the fertility of the soil increase the soil health yield and plant photo phytochemicals it uh, the use of plant also reduces the erosion and metal leaching in the soil but this method is also having certain disadvantages as enumerated or enlisted as below phytoremediation simply relocates the toxic heavy metals it does not remove them from the local locale phytoremediation is limited to the surface area and the depth occupied by the roots slow growth and the low biomass requires a long term commitment with the plant based system of remediation it is not possible to completely prevent the leaching of the contaminant into the ground ground water the survival of the plant is affected by the toxicity of the contaminated land and the general condition of the soil these are the some based plant that can be used for the phytoremediation that is indian mustard indian grass willow tree water hyacinth and sunflower then the root zone technology this is the another method to treat the waste water here as the name suggests the root or the rhizosphere are the playing are is playing the major role in treating the waste water so let us see how the root or the rhizosphere in the plant helping to treat the waste water root zone treatment system are the natural process to effectively treat the domestic and industrial effluent it was developed in 1970 in germany and has been successfully implemented in the different countries mainly in europe and america root zone technologies are by now well known in temperate uh, temperate climates and are easy to cooperate on site treatment facilities which involves less installation maintenance and operational cost than the conventional treatment method root zone technology is effective technology called decentralized wastewater system the term root zone encompasses the interaction of various species of bacteria fungi and other microorganism the roots of the wetland plant filter of bed media sun and water definition the root zone are sealed filter bed consisting of sand gravel soil system occasionally with a cohesive element planted with the vegetation which can grow in wetland after removal of the coarse and floating material the wastewater passes through the filter bed where the biodegradation of wastewater takes place this method combines the mechanical filtration chemical filtration precipitation and biological degradation in one step for the treatment of wastewater the process in the root zone system to treat the sewage begins with the passing the raw effluent after removing grit or floating material horizontally or vertically through the bed of soil having impervious bottom this is the mechanism by which the contaminant or the pollutants are removed from the wastewater the first one is physical under physical again by the different mechanism like sedimentation filtration adsorption and volatilization by these processes the contaminants are removed whereas during chemical uh, in the chemical mechanism by the different processes like precipitation adsorption hydrolysis oxidation and reduction by these processes the pollutants are removed whereas the biological as the microorganisms are flourishes and grows around the or in the network of the roots they 
bacteria uh, they causes the metabolism during their metabolism they stabilizes the organic matter plant metabolism during the plant also may, uh, during their metabolism degrade and transform certain pollutants plant adds absorption and natural die off so by all these mechanism the water is treated if you see the upper figure the effluent is entered in this it may be either horizontal flow or vertical flow the plants are grown usually it is aquatic plant which are go grown in the wet uh, climate or environment where the by the physical chemical and uh, by the biological means the water is treated and treated water is taken out from the from the system these are some examples you can see here how the plants are grown and cultivated uh, cultivated for the uh, root zone technology such type of basins made up of brick masonry or the earthen pond um, are used for the as a root zone pots where the plants are grown and the effluent is um, discharged in system and the treated waste water is taken out from the other end this is the two flow that is horizontal flow system and the vertical flow system it is all about the entry uh, the direction in in which the influent enters the system so if the water is entering in the system in the horizontal uh, um, way or direction then it is called as a horizontal flow system if the water is uh, discharged from the top or in the vertical downward direction then it is called as a vertical flow system these are the different plants that can be used for the root zone system canna indica phragmatis australis um, glyceria maxima and baumi articulata in this particular video we learned how the low cost treatments like phytoremediation and root zone technology can be used for wastewater treatment we also dis uh, discussed the advantages and uh, disadvantages associated with this system thank you for watching